When we think of Victorian England, one of the first images that comes to mind is how Victorians lived and the lifestyles they had. One common question that people often ask is, did Victorians brush their teeth? The answer to that is yes, although not in the same manner as we do today. As far back as ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans, toothbrushing was practiced by some form, and by the early 1700s, William Addis mass-produced the first toothbrush. However, the most common method of keeping teeth clean was a mixture of soot, ashes, and salt. The soot and ashes were meant to provide an abrasive effect while scrubbing, while the salt was intended to be an antiseptic. In 1821, John Harris patented a toothbrush which consisted of a handle from cattle bone and bristles from the neck of a swine. Although this design remained fairly popular until the late 1800s, during the Victorian era, most people opted for a toothpaste made from chalk, vinegar, applied directly with cloth or finger, and contained substances such as myrrh, rock salt, charcoal, and burnt hartshorn. Despite being quite effective at cleaning teeth, these methods were undoubtedly inferior to modern methods, and those who could afford it may have chosen a more advanced toothbrush made of ivory or silver. As most of these materials were quite expensive, it was mostly reserved for those living in the upper class. So to conclude, Victorians did indeed brush their teeth, although they used far less sophisticated methods than we use today. This obviously created numerous problems as far as oral hygiene was concerned and only those who could afford it had access to toothbrushes made of more expensive materials.